Just a couple of the announcements. Um, as you can see, we had a funeral yesterday, so we have a few funeral flowers around. Uh, in your bulletin, you should all have, or in your messenger, a half a sheet of paper that talks about Vacation Bible School. I'm looking around. Lou, uh, Margaret's going to say something about that. So there's that little sheet of paper, half sheet of paper. It gives you a little information about Vacation Bible School that's coming up on the 20th. And on the back, there's a little coloring creature that's someone we're going to learn about at that week as well. And uh, if you have kids, give it to them, have them color it, bring it back, and we'll be decorating with those. If you don't, I bet you have a neighbor or a grandkid or something like that that you could give one to and have them color it and bring it back too. And uh, encourage them to register. Go to messiahmo.org or register back at the table there. And there's extras if you want to grab some to hand out to any kids you find. Do that. But we also need adult volunteers to uh, sign up on the sheets back there also. There's lots of jobs, varying responsibilities. So if you don't want to be there all week, just put down what day and time you can be there. We need everybody. Um, and I think that's about it. But we're going to have a little short video showing you what you're going to see a little bit of this next week at Vacation Bible School. Thank you. say one thing about the gospel text. The gospel text is Jesus is invited to Simon the Pharisee's home and a, a woman who the text says who was a sinner came and washed Jesus' feet with her tears in her hair. And we'll see what that means for us today. Please rise and join in singing.
church. Here is the steeple. Open up the door. Come join all the people. This place is built on love and the promise to God's people. It's built on the faith of God's saving grace. Living together in trust and hope, we proclaim our faith. We believe in one God in three persons, a triple bloom on a single stem. God the Father, who created the universe and is continually creating us. God the Son, who redeemed us by coming and pitching his tent next to ours. God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us and is the love that gives our life meaning. We worship one God in three, and three in one. In this belief is life everlasting.
Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and one another. <clears throat> Almighty and merciful God, you established your church with the power of the Holy Spirit. Fill us with that sacred fire that we may ignite with a passion for your will. Inflame our hearts to do good works in the building of your church. Finally, burn down the walls that keep us from you. These things we ask in your name. Amen. Today we're going to talk about law and gospel. The law is the demands of God and lets us know how much we do not measure up. And the gospel is that word of grace that comes to us from God, that he loves us and forgives us. So hear the gospel, that for the sake of Jesus, Our gospel reading this morning comes from the gospel according to Luke, the seventh and the eighth chapters. One of the 